Hello everyone, we are back. Yeah, Finally. Uh, yeah so I'm Daryl. And I'm Willy. And we're from Little Big Red Dot. Yeah. Okay, so long uh, see, long after see. a long hiatus, right, yeah. uh, we're back. And this is our new playlist called Walking Street. Yeah, so what we're going to do, what's Walking Street? Uh, Walking Street is the new series where we will be walking around in Singapore. Uh, random streets uh, and then we will so, go around those streets right and try those uh, uh, food with a lot of history uh. so walking streets uh, we really go down one street uh. yeah la, one street two street or however much we can walk so uh. as we go along this street right mm. we're going to spot interesting things but which street are we at now I must tell oh better still right better uh, still okay so we're going to go down this street then after that right we're going to see whatever's interesting on the left and the right yeah. we're going to go in check out the food Heritage, yeah. any interesting stalls. And we'll share the history of uh, the place around here with you. So if you are interested, come along now. Let's go. Okay, so where are we? So we are now at one of the very popular shops in Balestia, selling Tao Sa Pia. And this is like one of my favorite shops to go to as well. So I've been, if you take a look, you see you, there's a very long queue. So this shop is called 639 Long Park Tao Sa Pia. Wow, actually the price increased really. Oh, the Really? Yes! Yeah. 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 This pocket. Oh, look at the really glorious really feeling. I think we got it. Xin Xian Chu Lu. Fresh from the oven, that's why it's. The feeling is actually very generous. You can see the feeling the feeling. Yeah, it's filled all the way. Yeah, man. Oh, if you want to eat, uh, better make sure it's. I, I, I open another one. Open. Sana. I tell uh, open. It's sweet. Uh. You take. It's very hot, I tell you. Ah, hot right? Oh, okay lah. <laughs> so this one, this is sweet. One is sweet, one is salt, salted lah. Okay. So, I think it's very flaky <laughs> I la. told you it's very hot right? It's, buttery right? Yeah, it's very flaky, very buttery. So it's like, I think the selling point is the pastry. It's not so much the filling. Because the pastry is, uh, yeah. So what is it inside? Lotus ah? Uh, Red bean or lotus? Lotus paste. Hot right. Mm. But because it's fresh, yeah. uh, because it's fresh, so so it, so it's really good. Because in most cases, right, when we when we purchase this, then then it will be sold in a box. Yeah. And then it's really it's really placed there for some time. Actually, do you all know Tao Sa Pia for Singapore and Malaysia is different. Okay, why? Why are differences? Singapore Who is invented like, Tao Pia? Don't know lah. Singapore is like that lor. Then Malaysia is the round round small small one. And then inside is like mung bean. Oh. Well, well, I remember I always go Malaysia and buy a Dolly lah. Dolly is better. This is like my favorite Tao Pia shop in Singapore lah. Oh. The best lah. Mm, so like, how many times have you eaten here? You, you say you come here many times? Cannot count already. Aroy, Aroy Mak Mak. Mm. Aroy Mak Mak. <laughs> <laughs> All, all tourists should actually come here. Ah. All tourists. All tourists. This all is like a uniquely Singapore food. Okay, so how to come here? Tourists, I recommend you to, to just take grab or taxi. La. The pastry, right, there's actually a separation from the crust to the... Filling. Yeah, no, that, the crust itself, there's two layers. Oh, yeah, so yeah. So there's yeah. one that, that's crispy on top. Mm. So they char it on top, then the bottom, right, is still, it's still soft and flaky. Uh, so, so you can see there's a separation on top. Uh. Take years of pastry making to master. Yeah. I like Balestier a lot because oh. it's not it's not so tainted by development. So it's still quite sleepy, sleepy town. You know like everywhere you go in Singapore, right? Places that used to be uh, not so densely populated. After developments come up, then it becomes intensely populated. Yeah. 我觉得, huh, the reason why you cannot tell the taste is huh, because it's too hot. <laughs> I think you need to wait for it to cool down yeah. a little before you eat. 
Then you can be hard because it's, this is at the start. Can we say this is the start of Balestier? The first shop. Ah, the, 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 the literal first shop uh, on Balestier Road. Closest to Thompson. Right? So the other end of Balestier Road is uh, where CTE starts. Uh. Uh, so we are going to go down and hopefully the weather holds for us. Alright, we just crossed uh, opposite in the slight drizzle, okay? Uh, thanks to uh, good foresight, we escaped the heavy rain. And now we are here to eat the Zheng Zhong, Zheng Zhong Lu Mian since 1973. Okay, so let's go. Okay. Uh, I, I tap out a few times. Yeah. 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 Oh, that one is uh, mi fen mian, so we uh, have uh, uh, mi hun uh, mixed with uh, yellow noodles, right? Yep. Okay, okay, okay. So we yeah. added all the, they will ask us whether they want the, the garlic, garlic, chili, uh, vinegar, and... Mm. Yeah, that's really... Mix everything together. Mix yeah, just mix your mouth to eat. I'm not a... So when hungry, it's not a shelter meal. We speak our point. <laughs> hungry guy. Hungry. But this is the first time I was trying to Every time I come and tap out, it's like... Every uh, time? Uh, how often do you come here? You got one more sauce? Once a month. I don't think so. Once a month? No, I don't want the month. Once every two months. Still very often. So you ate here before? Tap out, tap out. Tap out. Tap out is packet, packet. Packet food. The gravy is very thick. It's usually about me the noodle they use this kind of noodle. Up to you la. No then you really this kind of. No, I actually I every time I order is beef noodle. Beef noodle. So the yellow noodle got flat and got rounded also, right? Yeah. What layer they have? I think I'm like pork belly. This is what thing? Pork fish. 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 This is like the pork fish nugget. Something like that. I think so. They don't have to eat it. The sauce looks very rich and thick. How is it? Wow. Fish, very... Bite, bite. Yaojing, yaojing. We ask our foodie expert. Disclaimer, I'm not a fan of lor mi. But when you mix everything together, you get a lot of uh, flavors inside because there's vinegar, so you get a uh, uh, sour richness. Yeah, uh, switch to him. He he always tap one. <laughs> Is it better eating here? Than but I try to cut down a lot of yeah. Why? You know, gravy the calories are cow. Yeah. You know, gravy the calories are cow. I don't like this one. Oh, man, that's like my favorite. This one seems like more liao inside. Is it? Is it very cheap? So how much is this? $11.88. Wow. This is a small one, $7 something. Oh, this is $11? Yeah. Okay, so how do you find the 
I'm personally not a fan of raw meat, but but this is really not bad. Yeah, but you get a mix of different, you know, flavors inside. Um, the soup base is very thick. So if you like something with a lot of gravy, I think you would like this one. So this one also comes with uh, a certain fish, kind of a quite expensive fish called the codfish, right? Yeah. So you can see the small pieces here. So this dish uh, will be more expensive than the other one. Mm. So long we, uh, they asked us whether we want the garlic, the vinegar, the chili and, and the coriander inside because some customers they don't like to put in so much right but our style is usually we just make sure everything goes inside and then we stir it up give it a good stir and then enjoy it like this mm. I think raw meat is a, like a, a dying trick do you really trade. find too many raw meat stores around nowadays and the good ones are not I easy to find also probably left the good ones only right? and then actually you don't really see the younger people eat raw meat Especially in Singapore, very hot weather, so I eat all. I think it all boils down to the sauce. It cannot be too uh, watery, neither can it be too starchy. Yeah. Because the, if the gravy is too starchy, right, plus the noodles and all the cups, uh, you might feel quite full, quite, quite good. Yeah, I, prefer, I prefer the traditional one. Yeah, same, same, same. I think the crispy one uh, is quite special. I never eat before. It's a new kind of uh, creation, creation, crispy raw meat. So we are going to the to a Malay um, eatery uh, to try their nasi lemak. Apparently, it's popular. Nasi lemak. Nasi lemak. Long time never eat nasi lemak. Okay, let's go. Okay, so so this is. Uh, <laughs> Caveman uh, is a you no know, butchery restaurant and bar. Yeah, oh. but I think they open at 5 p.m. Uh, so I think we got to skip it. Okay, okay, okay. Next time, next time. Yeah, butchery, this is butchery. more of a night night place. If you want to eat, yeah, you can come here to eat and drink. Things should be here. Okay. Yeah, this is a shop. Nothing like that. Huh? Nothing. No more already. Oh. Okay, we have arrived here, but they are sold out already. Um, yeah, so they are popular for nothing but but sold out lah. Yes, so let's move on to our next destination. Wow. Well, in fact, they close at uh, 3 p.m. But uh, because of the rain, right? By the time now it's huh? 3 13, we were delayed by the rain. So unfortunately, so we can't eat. Yeah. So, yeah. So let's go to the next place. <laughs> the next place is uh, I mean, a Cantonese cheap. restaurant. <laughs> with uh, Cantonese vibes inside, so yeah. I also haven't been there. <laughs> this uh, Zhongshan Mall has been here for quite some time already, even though it looks quite new. I think maybe, what, 10 years? About oh, there. Not so long, really? I think so. It was before Covid, right? Or maybe like, maybe 7 to 8 years. Ah, come on. Oh. Oh, first Michelin Big Goman Beef Noodles from Taiwan. Open recently. Uh, celebrity from Taiwan, right? Yeah, we won't be trying this uh, because uh, many outlets around Singapore, I guess so, right? I don't know. <laughs> or around the world, okay, but uh, we try to recommend you the best of Palestine, the best uh, local eats around. Yeah. What's the next dish? I'm uh, hungry. Eh? Cantonese cuisine. <laughs> Cantonese. So, so what is the 
Ah, specialty of Cantonese cuisine. First, history, history. Ah. Oh, wow. What is the history of Cantonese cuisine? Um, even though I'm Cantonese, I actually don't know the history of Cantonese cuisine. But Cantonese, we like to drink soup. Ah, uh, tong, and tong. then we like uh, kulo yolk, you know? Ah. <laughs> so what uh, Malaysia is famous for, right, is... Uh, light shops, right? Yeah, light shops. But uh, in the past, right, it was just nearly all light shops. Yeah, I think the only famous food that was in Balestier, right, was uh, actually two. La. Yeah, either the, yeah, the, the bakute, if not then, it's the chicken rice. Oh, yeah, yeah. Along this stretch, there are two There's chicken rice shops. Boon Tongki, right, or something like that, yeah. right? And yeah. Loiki. And Loiki, yeah. Yeah, oh, so, Loiki, Loiki. yeah so these are, the, these are the things that are famous about uh, Balestier in the past. Then now, currently, right, uh, there's some development in Balestia, but like I mentioned, right, it's not too dense. So, and Balestia is actually quite central and easy to get to. Then last time, right, in that Balestia Plaza, is that Balestia Plaza? There used to be like, no, Shaw, uh, Shaw Plaza. Plaza. There used to be this uh, very huge uh, furniture, um, more. more, yeah, I think it was Novena or something like that. Oh. Yeah, so you still get like a lot of heritage places. Oh. What, what? I can't remember, last time in school. Sun Zhong San. San. Yeah. Uh, Sun Zhong San. That's why this place is called Zhong San Mall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Behind got one Wan Qing Yuan came and do project. But, but I cannot remember what is it about. So in fact, that is one of the popular spots in Balestia, la, but we are not really walking in because we just want to explore the main streets. So in uh, Balestia, right, there are quite a lot of hotels. Uh, so you, you get some tourists, right? The, I would say the more savvy ones, uh, they would maybe come to the hotels in Balestia. Uh, there's an Ibis behind. So, so, yeah. so there's this day's hotel. Uh, and it's... Yeah. Yep. So actually, uh, if you come to Balestia, you can get more bang for your buck because it's cheaper. At the same time, right, because Singapore is so small, uh, you can actually take a grab and then you can, or taxi, right, and then it can get you to any part of Singapore. And because Balestia is so central, it's very easy to travel around Singapore. So a lot of people, uh, if they know Singapore, right, they don't really have to stay in. Uh, really central district but Balestia is just off central so like our office is actually in Orchard Road but it took us like 10 minutes to get to Balestia uh, we drove down from Orchard Road and then got, we got here in like 10 minutes so uh, most people remember Balestia uh, the, the, the older generation myself included uh, I remember Balestia for a place whereby you come and get your lights your fans uh, then after you get your toiletry, toilet fittings. I don't. I didn't really think of Balestia as a place where uh, you would come to eat. But uh, dear Mr. Producer, so where are we headed now? Oh, so we are we are arriving at the Jiang Cantonese Tapas Restaurant and Bar. Okay. So apparently inside they have a very Cantonese vibe, and yeah, it's interesting to check out. Uh, so. We are going to try out some of the food here. Ah, so this Hi, are you open? Yeah, lunch for four. <laughs> yeah, one one person, but there's <laughs> a lot of options to choose from, but uh, we won't be able to eat so many because we still have, wow, still got, I think got five more places to go. Eh. <laughs> so I think we will just probably pick some of the popular Cantonese dishes and yeah, try out. Decide today, you hold a bachelor party. Come, let me show you where it's a bachelor party. Oh, okay, it's not yet. No, not yet. Oh, that's the first bachelor party. Silver special party. Silver special party. Silver still a bachelor. Wow, so this place, ah, really quite unique. You can eat uh, authentic Cantonese cuisine. 
and you can listen or sing along to <laughs> Cantonese song That's like this point. one by who? Ikin Chen. Ah. Oh, to answer your question, I have a, I have a authenticator, authenticator reader here. <laughs> But it's quite unique because uh, it's all it's tapas uh, so it's apparently it's supposed to be all small flakes. Uh, how to tell if it's Cantonese right? If it's very salty, uh, confirms authentic uh. Cantonese food. Confirm. Oh. Oh, Honestly, it is very salty. Yeah, how salty it? It's not very salty. The yamnan like hit you, hit you suddenly. Oh, yeah. uh, in front like me. I think what makes it so non savory is because of the XO sauce. Uh, Elevates the saltiness. But I like that the carrot cakes are uh, a little crisp on the outside, soft on the inside. Kulo okay. is also well done. In fact, better than many Zhuza places. Yeah. So, like here. Hmm. Carrot cake made of carrot? No. Okay. Radish. Now why is it called carrot cake? No idea. <laughs> only in Singapore made our two-way cooked Thai rice. Oh. Thank you. Stir-fried stem with fried veg with okra. Please enjoy the afternoon. Thank you. Okay. Thank you so much. I want to try the stem. Can I try it? I want to fry the... The leaf until it's very crispy. Yeah. The stock is nice because it can it's a crunchy bite too. Okay. A bit soft, not that crunchy. Will you come back again? Huh? Will you come back here again? Of course. <laughs> you can hear Cantonese songs. You can eat and sing along. You can have kopi or gao here also. Why not? I think this, yeah, this place is a place for Jelly King. They even have some hidden uh, basement here. Right? Uh, private event. Decide to really the whole bachelor party. Come, let me show you where is the bachelor party. Oh, here it's not yet. No, not what? yet. Oh, the free party and have private parties like exclusively. This you can eat, you can pay pong. Oh, then it's not an entertainment area, just for customers. Then we just have a karaoke system where you can sit down and relax. Over here. Oh, okay. Over there, you can see a Bun Tong Ki, which is a popular chicken rice shop in Singapore. Is this the first one? No. No. Further down. Further down. Uh, Boon King. That one is the first one. Boon King. Oh, okay, okay. I, I think I know which one. The Boon King is Marty Town. That one is the first one. So this is the, the, the thing I like about Ballastia. It's like, it's not, it's not so... In the past, right, this road was congested in normal situations but then right now uh, this type of traffic is considered light in Singapore so if you if you travel to like Coven right Coven is in my opinion more congested than yeah. Balestier already so there's a lot of new high-rise residential around here recently but it's behind you see yeah so it's not it's not my it's not by the main road mm. and what happens is that uh, if if you are getting to the main road right then from here to to, to the city centre right isn't isn't too far off. So that's like what? Uh oh it's like a fragrance hotel, that was super budget. That was like very budget. And I think there are a couple of other hotels down the road, so 
if you're a tourist, right, then uh, you want to find a decent location at cheaper prices, then I think you can look at Balestia. So, uh, Mr. Producer, may I know where are we headed next? We are going to a very old school market pay shop. Okay. Just, uh, in front of Bontong. Sure. Uh, do you have any other adjective other than old school? Classic heritage. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so... What is Bakute? Bakute yeah. is pork rib soup. Pork rib soup, okay. And how, how is it made? How is it made? So you boil the pork rib okay, uh, for many hours and then you add in some herbs and spices okay, to give the whole soup a lot of flavour. So for Singapore style Bakute is, is the peppery version. Uh, but in Malaysia is the you know, herbal uh, style. Okay, so we're coming here to eat Bakute. Yeah, so you see this shop is very um I'll say Fu Chi and uh, but if you walk past you might not want to step in but if you are those kind of Instagrammer I think you will want to come here to have a photo taken. This place has never seen renovations since the day I was born. <laughs> it's the chili that goes with the oh. pork. Actually, why they call it Because usually people drink the pork rib soap with tea. And it's true, la, if you take a look at the table over there, there's a you know kettle there whereby people usually drink tea to you know clean the grease. La. So the, the cha doesn't refer to the soup of the no, 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 no. pork rib la. It's a roll of cha. I see, I see. Okay, okay. okay. Right? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so this is the roll of cha. Okay, okay. 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 Okay, the the bakute soup is refillable, free flow. Sure. I mean, you drink at, at some point you can ask for that lah. Just test on that. Uh, that's the auntie's limit. Uh -huh. When the I point she, you when you ask for extra soup, then she take the tap water and pour inside. Then that you know you have to pay and go. This is how late? I think open until quite quite late. Eh. One you are close two a.m. So this is a uh, pig intestine, right? Yeah. Wash or not wash, I don't know. Wash lah. Huh? Because you cannot see inside. No, wash. So you got to dip with the uh, chopped chili and dark soy sauce. Like that. Ah, put, a, put a generous amount on top like that. Ah. Wow. Yeah. That soup after the beer, good. <laughs> So this one, uh, there's another famous bakute. Is this one better than the other one? The other one is called Founders Bakute. Um, if you want air condition, then you probably want to go there. Because over here, there's no air condition at all. It's very... <laughs> not run down old school. Yeah. 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 Over there, I think more tourists know about that place. But this one, I don't think so. Probably hasn't been featured much, I think. Yeah. I realize all those uh, so called quite famous eateries are. Uh, mm. They like to have a lot of photographs with celebrities. Eh. Oh, that one, that one got a lot. Uh, the whole wall is all celebrity. Uh, local celebrities are. Uh, Hong Kong celebrities are. Yeah, yeah, foreigners. Uh, yeah. Because a lot of Singapore locals like to watch uh, Hong Kong shows. Yeah. So we also are familiar with like uh, Hong Kong stars and all that. Mm. Pepper taste strong. strong. Have you seen how the bark coat looks like? Uh, so the bark coat is literally a big piece of bone in the middle with some meat around it. So they uh, stew this for a long period of time to cook out the fragrance of the bone. I think how you see whether it's good quality uh, is if, if the meat falls off the bone easily, uh, it, then it's a uh, very good quality. How is it? Yeah. 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 Like, 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 yeah.
，you know soft 嘛，所以很容易掉出来。啊，什么？嫩。嫩。<笑> Next we are going to a new revamp shopping mall called Shaw Plaza. I heard there's a popular Mui Ki, a porridge shop from Hong Kong. Oh, okay. 係咪啊？嗰度有咩啊？梅記啊？食咩啊？食粥啊？食粥。食啊食啊，继续食啊，唔有停啊。所以啊 ，take a look at this beautiful building <笑>。哦、oh, ，here here this Balestier Plaza still a lot of、uh, very classic light shops. I think over here there's a very boutique hotel. Um, you know, from all over it looks very uh hipster modern. Like yeah, the place is called what? the Initial. Yeah. And then uh the other popular bakute is over here, Founders Bakute. Which we will not be eating because we just had bakut teh, so we'll go over to Shaw Plaza to take a look. If you are feeling very hot from the walking, you know this is a place where you can come in for toilet, aircon, uh, yeah, yeah, clean toilets. 真实的，真实。We were very 真实。Of course. Wow, the yakun is quite big here. Yakun. Here got yakun, upstairs got kilini. Which one you prefer? Yakun. I like, I prefer Kilini Kaya. Uh, more delicious. <laughs> you can taste the, you know, grainy, a little grainy. Loy oh. Ki best chicken rice. But I don't think we have uh, enough stomach to eat anymore. So um, if you want chicken rice, you can check out either this or buntong ki. So I think we can each uh, order one plate lah. <laughs> no lah, no, don't no, eat. Huh? Skip. Skip. We but we already it show so much, then we skip. So that yeah. means there we didn't be a give part two lor. Ah, part two lah. Huh? We will come back at night. At night. But let's still at night. What to eat at night? Hey, is wow. that is that still that that uh porridge buffet? Oh, no, the quality hotel is hot. It becomes holiday in already, no more. Oh, okay, okay. So, as we are skipping this chicken rice, uh, we will move on to an uh, old school bakery in front. Oh, it's And then here we are at this uh, very old school bakery. Uh, apparently it opens 24 hours and then you look at the bread it got history, got history, got history oh. and action so we just bought curry and red bean yeah, so let's how's try the red bean? no it's really very tough eh. you don't know if you eat, you eat the bread tough as in like it's the exterior yeah we call this bite there is bite I call this wrong ah. <laughs> <la. laughs> <laughs> Yeah, okay. no, so it's really it. very tough. As in, as in, if you if you really going eat right, it's not it's not something that you will come back for. Uh. I, I don't understand the 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 craze. Uh. Mm, I even better curry buns. Uh. A lot better. Eh. This is quite bad. No? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, first bite, honest, honest. First bite, I feel a lot of dough, a mm. lot of the bread. I, I didn't get the feeling. Maybe I I I beat the wrong side. I tried the other side. Then I feel a duck. <laughs> 
Hey, but it's really quite hard, you know. You, you don't believe you try it. I'm just gonna try it. And then you get some of your curry, potato, after getting a big bite. So, it's quite a bit. That's all. It's quite a lot of dough, it's quite a lot of bread. But I like the firmness of the bread. Together by the side of the road, with the exhaust and everything. <laughs> Let's go. So now we are walk back to our car to go back to our office. <laughs> Not take a bus. Eh? <laughs> take a bus. Ah. Oh, it's different. Wow. So, are you going to night night? Not until you find. Stay tuned to our um, night walking street uh, for Balestier. I think there are still lots of to explore in Balestier. Okay, so we've come to the end of the day. And then, uh, really, how are you feeling? Uh, Super full. I want to take a nap. <laughs> <laughs> you don't drive so fast. <laughs> okay, so which was your favorite? Uh, uh, I think, I mean, Bakut Teh, I eat quite often uh, like elsewhere. So, my taste bud is not that good. Uh, but I think the lor mee was quite a pleasant surprise. Oh. Then also, the, the Cantonese uh, joint is like uh, more than just a food experience. Overall, uh, for a musically inclined person like me, yeah. <laughs> hey, why are you, why you, why you, why you laughing? Man? Yeah, but that's my vote. I think it's, it's the ambience, uh, So like, like they, they, it's quite unique. So if like you want to go uh, for a place to have some drinks and then have some tapas, it's quite unique because the tapas is actually Chinese food. Mm. So, mm. so it's Cantonese food in tapas form. So it's small servings. And what happens is that you can actually order many of these small servings so everyone can try different type of tapas, but Cantonese tapas. <laughs> yeah. I think I, you I like what's your favorite one? Tau, tau sa pia. You want you like the hot tau sa pia or the cook down? According <laughs> to Kevin, we should let it cool for a while, but yeah. it's let you it should, it So should we should go down. back now and get the cool down. Close already. Okay. Next time. <laughs> yeah. I think personally for me I also prefer the the, my top favorite will be the Tau Sa Pia. Um, I think simply because it's very unique, very special, especially to Balestier Road. And then um, my second will be the Cantonese Tapas Place. I mean, the dishes are quite well executed, the atmosphere is special. Yeah, so these are my top two favorites. I think the Tau Sa Pia is because oh. of how they make the pastries it's very unique in the sense that. It's mm, fluffy, yeah. uh, it's fluffy and then crispy on the outside. Then after that, for some reason, the 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 crust separates into mm, two. Yeah. So you actually get it crispy on the outside. Then after that, you get it uh, fluffy and warm on the inside. Mm. Yeah. I think that's so how they they you know keep the warmness because the vacuum. Oh, okay. Ah, wow. size, vacuum. Size, size. Ah. I don't know about that, okay. uh, yeah, but okay, I'll, I'll give it to him. Ah. What's your favorite? Tau Sa Pia. Tau Ah, see, right. <laughs> but we never managed to try the nasi padang. Mm. Nasi lemak. Nasi lemak. Mm. Nasi lemak nasi padang. Nasi lemak. Nasi lemak. That one I think got to come like, you know, in the early morning or early for lunch. lunch uh, for yeah. lunch. Uh. Okay, another time now. We'll do a night walk version, right? Uh, are we planning to do a night walk? Yeah, we will do a night version of our walking street uh, back at Balestier someday. Uh, because I think this street is also a very popular, you know, hot spot in the night. And then uh, we also found some eateries that really uh, operate till late. So yeah, we will be back to, you know, try the food out. So if you like this video, uh, do, you know, help us to like and subscribe, share this video. Okay, uh, I believe a lot of Singaporeans, even though you stay in Singapore, you don't even know there's so many things along Balestier. Or don't even know the history. Yeah, so share with your friends. Any other things to say? <laughs> oh, I actually look quite like Balestia. Quite nice to come back here. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, do let us know which um, area in Singapore you want us to feature next. And then we'll go and explore together. Okay, comment below uh, which is your favourite food for today. Oh, yeah. Like based oh, okay. on what you see. Uh, you or can... if you have tried them before, so do I, let yeah, us yeah, know. Please comment. Please comment. Yeah. Share with us uh, your views and thoughts. You all can tell us different opinions. <laughs> if you all like the bread at the end, just say you like Oh no, the bread was very horrible. I'm <laughs> <laughs> yeah. saying the viewers <laughs> can decide. No, I mean uh, like, seriously, it's like... Okay, well, we'll tell you crust. where the last...
bread <laughs> store is anyway, right? Yeah. Uh, just go there and try it for yourself. You got a few flavors, you got vanilla. Yeah, la, I must, must speak about them a bit. La. Curry, say totally, la, red, la, bean. Curry yeah. red bean. Red bean. Uh, you're going to try, you're going to try. I- I eat, I, to, okay, okay. I eat to live and I still don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. So if there's one food to eat in Balestia, Tao Sao Pia. Okay, we'll stop. Alright, thank you for watching. Bye-bye. Okay, bye bye.